Hey, 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 everyone. Welcome back to the Passive Buddies podcast. In today's episode, we're going to cover another great long-term marketing strategy, one that both me and Brandon um, go for, support, and think it's actually a, a road a roadmap to freedom. So, Brandon, do you want to start on this sexy, sexy passive income stream? Yeah, so that's YouTube. I think that YouTube is, and having your own YouTube channel is a great way to really make content that if you're comfortable i mean you don't even need to be comfortable on video you can literally have a faceless youtube and still make money but i love youtube because it is just like blogging but in video format where you can literally make passive income by solving people's problems because i I don't know about you guys but i log on to youtube and type in like how to set up a sales funnel or how to blog correctly you know all these different things that people are searching for is um to solve a problem and youtube is right there with uh, google i mean google owns youtube and it's the highest uh search engine i think the largest search engine in the world and so if you're able to solve people's problems on video then you're going to do pretty well or if you're just entertaining you can do quite a bit of money also on the YouTubes. Yeah, and you're right on you, like, obviously, like, if you go, and we, we've talked about this before, haven't we? It's like, if you need to solve a problem, where do you go? Do you go type it into Facebook? No. Do you go type it into TikTok? No. You no. go and type it into YouTube or Google, and they are, that's where you go to solve your problems, okay? It's not on, in the Instagram. It's like, it's literally it's YouTube or Google. So, therefore, if you want to stand out from the crowd, if you want to stand out from all these other marketers that make you feel like it's a saturated world, then the first thing you need to do is go on YouTube. And the reason for that is because 90% people won't. But 90% or 100% of people go to YouTube to solve the problems first. So where do you think the authority building is going to start? It doesn't start on Facebook. It starts on YouTube. And therefore, you're already separating yourself from the noise. And then it's just a case of obviously working with YouTube, the algorithms, making your content good enough to actually watch, um, which surprisingly is easier than easy easier than you first think and then by doing that again you can post videos that could be found for in five years time that can still generate you ad revenue affiliate revenue brand deals authority core sales like just by having a youtube channel you can literally make five income streams just off a youtube channel if you don't want to show your face it can be done if you want to do like if you want to do like meditation videos, like faceless meditation videos and make money that way, it, there's just so many different opportunities. There's so many different ways to do it. Like obviously my favorite because of the strength is a personal brand style. So actually similar to my brand or mine, the YouTube channel, Passive Buddies or Brandon's, the board, board and Passive Income. Like those personal brand channels carry a lot more weight because people get to connect with you and people get to look into your eyes and like see if you're the real deal. But like, there's so many different options. You don't have to be bound by that personal brand, but you can have five different income streams coming from a YouTube channel. Yeah, I think it's funny because uh, you said how uh, your content will be there for five years and people will search for it. I actually had someone comment on a video I did when I first started on YouTube. When I, was, I think I was still personal trainers, or maybe I was just getting out of personal training. And it was uh, how to create a ebook in like five minutes. And there was like literally no views on it. Well, there's some views um, and maybe one or two comments, but I just recently got a comment that said, wow, thanks so much. You make it look so easy. And I was like, I posted that video years ago and I'm still getting views and still getting comments on it. And I think it's just so uh, if you're able to solve people's issues, they're going to find your content. I mean, how to create an ebook in under five minutes. uh, I mean, that would be a a thing someone would search for. And that was a video I I created and someone comments on it. So I I just found it. I found the video. (laughs) Oh, really? Yeah. (laughs) Create an ebook for personal trainers. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, 843 views for you three years ago, yeah? Yes. Yes. And so, people are still doing it. Yeah, someone com- commented on it recently, and uh, I was very surprised. I was like, man, I haven't even uh, been a personal trainer in years, so it was it was pretty funny. 
that uh, that it still is relevant. And if you think, if you compare that to a Facebook post, like a, no one's the content I post three years ago on Facebook or on TikTok or not that TikTok wasn't around. I don't know if it was around um, or Instagram. No one's going to scroll down that far to actually see that content versus someone searching for an issue and coming up with uh, a YouTube video where they can follow along. Maybe the, the, the video quality isn't as good, but the, it's still relevant top, a topic because people in personal training create little guides on how to do certain lists for their audience and then use that as like a lead magnet if they're online or if they're trying to get leads in general and they can give that away as a, a freebie. And so it's just crazy that that content is still coming up and it's still getting views and I'm still getting paid. Actually, I should probably go back to see if it, that, that video is monetized, but um, because it probably wasn't monetized at that point. So uh, all those views are pretty much paying me through AdSense. Uh, and I think I actually have maybe a, a Canva affiliate link for their um, for their premium uh, service. So there's another, there's a second way I'm getting paid. And then if I think at that point I had like a how to um, make money online as a trainer, I, 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 that was when I first started. So I don't have that. So that's not a sales pitch. Don't go searching for that. It'd probably be a dead link. Uh, I should probably replace it though. Um, but that, that's three ways you can make money right there um, from your YouTube channel. That's absolutely incredible. And I love, literally, as we're talking about this, you, it's, it's literally, you've, you've had it in the last two days, the two days ago that comment was, which means a video that people are still finding value in three years later are still commenting, yeah. are still watching those views. Obviously, if it was monetized, which I think it was, because I think I had to click skip. And oh, good. Yeah, it's monetized, mate. Woohoo! So you've literally got like. I would just skip my 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 videos. I haven't pressed skip videos. yet. I've, I had to press pause because I'm still trying to listen to you at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> Don't skip the, the 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 ads because then I get paid on them, yo. Yeah, so I'll press play, let it run, and then. <laughs> but yeah, like looking at this, obviously, like just basically taking a video that was created three years ago by Brandon. He's got super super Facebook tools in there. So obviously talking about obviously how to like use Facebook as a, a money generating tool. I'm assuming obviously this is more geared towards the personal trainers at this point. Um, obviously how to find him. So then he's growing his other channels. He got a free course. So therefore the free course is allowing him to build his email list up, which obviously we spoke about email marketing, which then you can make money from your emails. So there's right. another one. Um and then he's got affiliate links as well. So literally like four, boom, AdSense, affiliate links, growing your email list, um, software that he owns. Uh, guys, it's it's literally, it's we're doing it. We're literally live and we're doing this. Like three years ago too, like obviously he posted a video that is still making him money. Now, if that doesn't make you think like bloody hell, I should be on YouTube. I don't know what will. As we've covered, like the different things, like if Brandon stuck with the personal training, for instance, so she um, and carried on that YouTube channel from personal training, guaranteed by now he would have had someone reach out to him to recommend, hey, can you do a video on this shake? Can you do a brand deal with me? Can you do a sponsor? Like, like there would have been all those different things that he would have been like monetizing. Um, the fact that obviously he's changed his niche, obviously he's down to down to Brandon, and he's been very successful with it. But like you've got the brand deals, the sponsorships, the affiliate links, the Google AdSense, his own products. It's, it just goes on and on. Like, why would you not learn how to create videos like this? Like, obviously, we're doing nothing special here, guys. We're literally just talking to you, giving you as much value and motivation as needed for, in order for you to go and change your life. And that, that that's simple, okay? There's no editing here. We're, we're keeping it as basic and as 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 raw as possible. So it's not that difficult to create those YouTube videos that will then pay you for three years down the line. Yep. And that's, that's as easy as it gets. I mean, and it is, like we said, it's evergreen content where people can uh, search for it. Um, I mean, why you should start a YouTube channel is evergreen content. Like you're listening to this podcast, there's affiliate links in there and you have the largest search engine, which is YouTube. I mean, that pretty much sums up why, I mean, and multiple streams, obviously, and why you should start a YouTube channel because it is really that easy. Um, you can literally 
start one in a matter of 10 minutes. And if you have a Gmail account, I think it's really it's as easy as you know signing up for a Gmail account and then signing up for YouTube and you can literally start a YouTube channel and post your, I mean, look at Mr. Beast. I mean, he did videos um, and now he's, I think, making each video, he he makes a ridiculous amount of money through AdSense. Let's just put it that way. And he's a 20 some year old kid. And I mean, it doesn't matter what age you start. There are people, there was a five-year-old, I think, who did um, reviews on toys and now he was Ryan's making toy review. Yeah, making millions of dollars. Yeah, he's you, absolutely you, crushing it. Right. And so it doesn't matter what age you start. It doesn't matter what topics you talk about. You can just talk about something you're interested in, and then you can provide value to people. And then something, and, yeah, and then obviously subscribe to this podcast so that you can learn how to monetize uh, your YouTube and other products. So I think we've covered uh, why you should start a YouTube. And if you're not starting one today, then then I don't know. I don't know what to say. Then start one tomorrow, but start. Yeah, just start. <laughs> yeah, 100%, guys. So if you've liked it, if you've enjoyed this video, guys, if it's given you the motivation to get started, showing you what's possible with YouTube in terms of the money that can be created, then 100% give us a like, a follow, subscribe, all of that good business. It really does help the channel. And we will see you in the next episode. Peace.